Well, I thought I would try a different video, sort of like how it how it happens. Um, this is our laundry room that goes to the garage, and the red ribbon is to remind me to lock the door because some sometimes I forget. At any rate, this is where I put my train clothes. If I'm going down to the basement, I come here and change, and then these are the clothes I put on when I come back up. Uh, this is where I keep my shoes for outdoors. And if I have to wash my hands, I have to come here and use this sink, of course. When I'm done, well, let me show you this. I did get, I did get something done yesterday. Might be interesting. This is how I go to the, to the garage. There's my bird food. We worry about the birds. Um, there's my clock uh, in the garage. I have a phone in the garage. And then I have my Chevy in the garage, and Margaret has her Volvo. And I did get some some work finished finally yesterday, after several weeks of deciding what to do and how to do it. So I thought I'd show you. It's my Chevy. I keep a rag on the gear shaft knob so I don't scratch it because it's stainless. Uh, and you can see my gauges. Okay, and then. Oh, something else that I got was a, a little plug down there, if you can see it. It's a Bluetooth connector that communicates with my phone. And I can watch the engine while I'm driving. Well, I watch the sensors in the engine. So, I had some work done on my car because the air filter tube wasn't right. One of the things I had done was this air oil separator so that oil that blows through the rings and presses out gets filtered out. The other thing I had was this reservoir for the intercooler on the supercharger. And this keeps um, circulating cold air, water or fluid, antifreeze actually, that runs through. There's a cooler down in there somewhere, but the trouble I had over the last few weeks was the air filter and getting this tube you notice the angle and we have compound radiuses this tube underneath is aluminum and it had to be fabricated this is a cast piece and this is a pressed out piece and they're welded here then we had to add connectors for the sensors methanol and the mass airflow is down in but this is pretty solid it's not gonna compress and move around and that gives me a full four inch air inlet to the supercharger and uh, it certainly makes a statement when you when you go to the car show Friday night and put the hood up I think it will attract some attention At any rate it does run nice I have to say that this is a push fluid up into the cooler and this is all in front of the radiator but I'm still thinking I'm going to wrap it with some insulation of some kind. So once I check make sure no one has come out and stolen my car I go back in just checking as we go past the uh, she who must be obeyed this is this is where I stage my parts. If I brought them up to do show and tell, I leave them here and then I take them downstairs. If she who must be obeyed was not here, I might steal some walnuts, but since she is, I'm just going to walk past them in case I get lost or come down in a delirium. I have a sign that tells me which way to go. I don't need to. Oh, that's the, some stuff I got. It's really cool. Um, I don't need to turn this light on, but I do because I like to see everything. This is the Christmas side, more or less. And then I turn this light on so I don't hit this. I hit this pipe. I hit it once a couple weeks ago. Oh, hurt like hell. Well, I was looking up at the ducting and walking and dunk. Anyway, 
We have three switches down here, but I don't know which one does which. So I turn them all on all the time, and that lights up this whole back area. And I can see I got right where I work. I got a dim light. I don't know what the hell. At any rate, I have this light I can turn on as well. There's some trains waiting to be fixed. Um, this is one of my workbenches uh, for my heavy metal removal stuff. Some engines, stuff in in project mode, tools, toolboxes, wrenches. Um, this is my station where I do my testing of the engines. I was testing some smoke units there the other day. I have amp meter. And uh, then this is the train itself where everything sits. Sometimes I come over here and I'll wake everybody up. It's kind of fun. If I do that, then I get to push a button. You see the, then I have the man. Man comes down. So this has been moved around somehow. I don't know what happened there. Wind must have been a tornado or something. I don't know what's going on. But at any rate, he's supposed to get fitted. Maybe. I don't remember. I'm drunk. Anyway, that's that. I have to remember to turn this off. You can see the uh, factory, the tucker on top. And then I have stuff over here. Um, turn on. This is my test track. This is that inner loop for conventional trains. It's not uh, wired into my digital stuff. All the other stuff is digital, so every engine on here has some kind of a digital thing. Uh, some storage bins, extra track. And then while I'm waiting for things to print, uh-oh, there's Bill's project waiting. I, I, um, I can come over here and work out. <laughs> right? No, I do. Honest. I'm going to play some tunes. Comes on, goes to disc three, which is good. Let's see what's coming up. I may move it over. Let's see what we got. Mm. And it's reading. It's reading. Here we go. Looks like number one. Wishing on a star. Maybe. Oh, that's good. Alright, since Margaret is awake and not napping, I can run this. This is sort of my storage for stuff. Those are mostly empty boxes. This is an old Schwinn bike, I love it. But these are either projects or parts of things. Things to come, waiting. One thing I like, somewhere here, mountain engine, caboose. Somewhere in here I have a Lionel uh, firebox box car where the box car catches fire and smokes and has chat and I'm going to gut all those electronics and put them in an American flyer box car it's somewhere here but I don't see it at any rate that's another down the road thing oh there it is right there I think yep yep hot box yep alright well what I'm going to do now pick up some trash. Oh, that is all my chairs falling apart. Okay, so this is my station. I have a wake up speedo here. And what I'm going to do is put my bump out on the other side. I got a little bump out right there, if you can just barely see it. I know this thing's black, nothing shows up, but I'm going to put that bump out on the other side. And what that bump out allows me to do, if you see this particular motor, it's a Timco big motor. Um, if I show you this side, it makes more sense. Then this bump, when I slide this on, clears the connector. It does, it does. It clears the connector um, so that I can solder that point on and not pinch the wire. That's the whole reason for that bump. I know, it's crazy. 
but I think I've got it. I need to thin that wall down so that the box, open box is wider. I didn't do the same over here and then this thing will slide right on. Once I get that to slide on, then I'm going to start building the housing and the door for the firebox. And the black hole is where the hole is going to be. Inside that I'm going to put a clear lens and I'm going to put some flickering LEDs, orange and red. So it'll look like a fire inside there. That's how I test this. I built this rough model and uh, using my soldering iron. I could turn that down, I don't need it on. This is the engine I'm working on for Joe, a buddy from the train club. Anyway, he's gonna use, he's gonna be my guinea pig, it's his engine. It's a 1952 Hudson. It's a nice example, missing a few things, but that's okay. And we're going to, we're gonna put the um, firebox in there, test that out. Okay. This is what I'm doing. This is it. This is what I'm going to do today. This is my 3D printer. And I... Ah, look! It broke again. Nobody was here. Just in the middle of the night, it breaks and snaps. Now i got to take 10 minutes to pull that out and put in a new one. What a bummer. At any rate, I'm not going to be printing for a while. And i got my calipers. got my itty-bitty ones and my big giant ones. Which are great. And we'll go from there. All right, break's over, back to work. I thought this would be an interesting video so you can kind of see. There's all my cam calculations and here's all my firebox calculations. I use quad pad, doesn't matter. It's a toy, right? Okay, that's it, break's over. I'm on it. <laughs>